During my The Division 2 play session at E3 2018, I got my hands on some legendary high-end gear that I want to show you in action in this video, and I'll share my impressions after playing the game for like 40 minutes. So if you enjoy that, then a like would be super appreciated, and let's go! At E3, the focus of The Division 2 was on the end game and the new specialization system that gives you one of three special weapons that you need to find ammo for in the world to unleash a powerful shot. Think of it as a super in Destiny or an overpower attack in Assassin's Creed Origins. So it's not something you can use all the time, so you will be mostly shooting your regular weapons. During E3, I for example found this high-end Marine Super 9 level 30 shotgun with 8 rounds, 33k damage, 160 rounds per minute and 5 seconds reload time. And yes, I would have loved to show you the menu but sadly I could not show you that during my play session so you gotta do it with the information I give you here. It also had a special perk called hemorrhage where I could increase the critical hit chance by 25% for all my group members if I killed a bleeding target. And this effect by the way lasted for 10 seconds. So this shotgun was not that good in my opinion, you still need like a ton of shots to take out those big enemies. I will show you another high-end shotgun though in a second that I found that does get the job done in a few shots. First I want to show you another high-end weapon I got that was the M1A CQB marksman rival with 32.3k damage. 300 rounds per minute, 10 shots in one magazine and 3.7 seconds reload time. I totally want to aim for the head as much as possible with this weapon because it has a special perk that grants you 10% extra damage per headshot kill and that stacks up 10 times as well but it resets if you don't do a headshot anymore. So being precise with this weapon is really, really rewarding. It's an awesome weapon if you shoot from afar. Then we got the shotgun I was talking about, the tactical SASG 12K shotgun that has almost double the damage from the Marine Super 9T. This one deals 56.9K damage. And by the way, both weapons were also in the Division 1. It has 108 rounds per minute and a 7 ammo mag. The real Reload time is also better compared to the Marine Super 9T with 3.7 seconds dealing more damage with fast shots. It also has the hemorrhage perk that again gives you and your team a 25% increase in critical hit chance for 10 seconds after you killed a bleeding enemy. During the demo I could also find some gear pieces that now all have brands as you see in this footage from Ubisoft where you do see the menu that I could not show. The brand system means that if you wear multiple gear pieces of a same brand it gives you extra attributes up to three extra if you wear three pieces of the same brand it's like a gear set bonus i found a high-end backpack in my demo that increases my armor by 17.8k and gives an increase in critical hit damage critical hit chance weapon damage and also some bonus armor on top of that it also had some perks like a 25% hazard protection and 15% increase in headshot damage and some brand bonuses on top of that as well so there are like a ton of stats on a gear piece in the division 2 this backpack was from the Petrov defense group with 8% LMG damage 10% third skill power and 10% skill haste if you have three gear slots and you can have like two full brand bonuses per character because you have six gear slots in total. Or you can of course mix and match and let's say have three different brands equipped and two items per brand to still have some gear set bonuses. It's a pretty cool system that adds a ton of possibilities. Oh and the backpack looks pretty awesome as well. I also found some high-end Neptune protection gloves that increased my armor by 10.6k and gave me critical hit chance and marksman rival damage. And the brand bonuses from the Overlord Armament brand gave you bonuses to the armor percent, weapon damage and increased damage to elite enemies. Yes, I agree, it kind of sucks that I can't show you the menu with the full stats, but I think my explanation does show you that there will be a ton of depth in the stats in the endgame of the Division 2 for sure. And those were the high-end items I found in the Division 2 at E3 2018. I thought it was fun to show you them in action, well, 
sharing their stats. Overall, I enjoyed playing the game. It felt a little heavier than The Division 1, but just like that original, the world and the little details totally stood out. Like I played the short demo of 10 minutes 4 times and saw new things every time. But of course it's hard to say how the full game will be, this was just a small section. I still feel that it has a long way to go before it can convince a lot of people to jump back in to like build that hype because the sort of newness and the mystery that the first game had is not present here because a lot of people already have experience with the original The Division. As far as I saw right now there are not all things that say oh if you did not like the first game you will totally love this game. It is more like if you love the first game you will totally love this one as well. But I think Ubisoft still has a long way to go before it can make everyone care about this game. I'll be following it for sure so if you enjoyed this video totally subscribe to the channel for more coverage from E3 2018, the things I played there. Of course, I have a ton of Assassin's Creed Odyssey stuff on the channel. Drop a like to support the channel. Let me know what you think of The Division 2 in the comments down below. And I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.